What is going on guys, I'm going to show you the advantages of setting up material instances and what they pretty much do. So this side of our track does not have a material instance and this side does. So if you've seen my previous video, I basically showed you how I textured this track except this one has the normals on it. I didn't have the normals before so pretty much if I load up the material instance I made for this rather than the actual material, you'll get what looks like... Oh, make this a bit smaller, make this bigger so I can edit stuff. Okay, so you'll get what pretty much looks like this. So it kind of looks like a material editor, but you don't have all the nodes and everything in it and your previews here. And what this allows you to do is change anything on the go as, soon, as long as you've set it up correctly. So if we want to, for example, change this to red, you can see the change happening there and it will also be happening on this material. So we want that red, we want it any color we want. So let's make it, let's say green. If we want the sides to be tinted like slightly blue, that if we want the road to be darker or even lighter let's make it darker for this example uh, and then also if we want the side bits to be this bit's a little bit more laggy ooh, be a bit more rough so if you look at them they're not really shiny now or more shinier not really ooh, not incredibly shiny and I'll keep it at being quite shiny still because I like shiny on it so like that or if we want the road to be less shiny so you see there's a very slight shiny so if we turn that up it'll get more and more sort of dull and in the opposite direction it'll get more and more shiny as you can see so it's pretty hard to sort of demonstrate because um, I can't show in a second one I've got to show you like this but yeah pretty much what material instance allows you to change anything at any moment so basically this road now is quite different to that one. I mean, I could go above and beyond and make the side bits golden, make this part silver, and like that. There you go. Now they look like completely different models. All because I um, really quickly had a material instance and I changed it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So pretty much, we're going to go to this one. And this just has my normal material on it. So I've created a second material of the one we got. So in this one, I open up the material it's really messy it's like what where is that thing and that, this is why you really make material instance for people that look at your materials and people that want to change it without you being there because if I open this up and I didn't know what was what for example you guys this might look really confusing so um, as you can see this controls the color of the road this controls the color of the like side metal bits and this controls the color of the light so if I actually change this while in here and click OK, it'll be slower, but it'll have the same effect as what I was just doing in the material right there. So let's quickly change that back to whatever color it was. I can't quite remember. That's fine. Yeah, it'll have the same um, effects as material editor, but it'll be a bit more slower and a bit more confusing to look at. So all you got to do is grab the things that you want to be able to change sliders in, right click them and click convert to parameter. So we'll convert that, and that will be our road color. Um, let's click our next one, right click convert, and that will be our side bumpers. Click this one, and this will be our light. Yep, so now we got all three of those, so yep, convert them all to parameters. Now we want to convert our actual sh um, roughness of them. So in this example, this controls the roughness um, of the of the metal, and this one here, like I said, it's very messy. So that's why it's a bit hard to see. This one here controls the roughness of the road. So I don't really want a roughness of the light because it doesn't really make much difference because it's emitting light. So right-click that and convert. And that's our bumper shine. And this is our road roughness. So I'm hoping you guys sort of know how to do some of this anyway. Like <laughs> obviously setting up a normal map, otherwise you wouldn't be learning material instance. And if we find our emission as well, I might as well add that while I'm here. So our original emission comes from... Oh, emission comes from this anyway, but if we go into the multiply... 
I don't think you can actually convert these parameters so we can't convert that to a parameter so um, but we can still change the light of the emission because it's all connected up so now if we uh, minimize this after converting them to parameters right click the material you have create material instance and we double click in that new one we just made and it will be this again now you're already allowed you're already here and you can already so if you, as long as you click on the road so make sure you don't forget this part click on the road and then drag in your new material instance and now you can start um, converting it to whatever you want and mess up whatever you want and the main advantage of this from what I've learned from my course is that pretty much you can make material uh, you can make objects look completely different just um, by applying those instances and sort of changing it to how you'd like so for example this has this colors on it these have this colors on it and there's no extra texture maps being used it's just different material instances being used to um, alter some stuff I for example got like this and um, I want to throw on the first material instance I made I just got like that or if I want to only make half of these I just got like that or I mix them up and I got like this uh, yeah man yeah so that's pretty much um uh, for, uh also the reason I can do that cuz they're all separate meshes but yeah um so yeah, that's pretty much how to use material instances how to use material instances i hope this helps anyone because it's sort of just it's not that important but it's a nice little shortcut to sort of uh, like alter your props without having to alter the maps themselves or going to the actual foundation materials once again i hope this helped people uh, leave a thumbs up if it did thank you very much for watching and bye bye